Blue light in the evening can create problems for our sleep. Especially very white LED lights around us produce lots of it and prevent us from falling asleep after a hard day's work. Let's build a sleep accelerator device using an ESP8266, an infrared LED and a MOSFET. Gritty YouTubers, here is the guy with a Swiss accent, with a new episode and fresh ideas around sensors and microcontrollers. White light contains many different colors from red to blue, also called rainbow colors. Old light bulbs create warm, yellowish light and fluorescence bulbs create cold white or neutral light, which contains much more blue color. The sun changes its color temperature, another name for the color of light over time. In the morning and in the evening its color is warmer, with a color temperature around 3000 degrees Kelvin. And at noon it is neutral with a high color temperature above 6500 Kelvin. Over the millenniums humans got adapted to this curve. The body starts to produce melatonin when the light intensity gets smaller and the color temperature gets warmer. And this melatonin helps us to find our well-deserved sleep. The invention of electricity did not create a problem because the ancient bulbs created a warm light in the evenings. Only the modern LED lamps create incredibly white daylight, also during night. Studies suggest now that this can harm our capability to fall asleep. Bad. What if we could change the color of the LED illumination around us according to the sunlight color? Many new light systems can change the color temperature. Here in the lab, for example, I can do that using an IR remote. Or the IKEA trad free bulbs use Zigbee for the same purpose. In video number 171 we learned to create IR signals and in video number 67 and 71 we learned to read the time from the internet. The last thing we need is a way to get the time for sunrise and sunset at our location. Then we have all ingredients for our sleep accelerator. First the hardware. We need an IR diode to create the remote signal and an IR receiver for the cloning of the required codes. And an ESP8266 for the brains. Because IR diodes need more current than an ESP8266 can source, we use a small N-channel MOSFET. This part is used as a switch for the higher currents. I connect the LED to 5 volts. Like that it bypasses the 3.3 volt regulator. But first we have to find out which code changes the color temperature. To do that I connect an IR receiver to the D4 pin of the ESP and start an IR receiver dump sketch. You find the details about the way these IR remotes work in video number 171. If I point my remote to the IR receiver diode and press the 6000K button I get this code. It says it uses NEC format. Yours could use Sony or other formats. And you even have the possibility to use raw data. The same with the 3000K button gives us this code. Now we have everything to build our sleep accelerator. Let's look at the sketch. First we start the IR sender and connect to Wi-Fi. Then we issue a get command containing our coordinates and we get a JSON string with a sunrise and sunset times at our location. We use the Arduino JSON library to extract the two fields. Then we convert them into minutes of the day. Next we get the actual NTP time. I use my SNTP library of video number 171, but you can also use any other NTP library. We convert the time also into minutes. Because all times are in UTC, we can compare the actual time with sunrise and sunset. If it is between sunrise and sunset, it is daytime and we adjust the LED to 6000 Kelvin, else it is night and we change the LED color to 3000 Kelvin. 
Then we send the ESP to sleep for let's say 30 minutes. You quickly can adjust these times if you want your night to start earlier or later. By the way, do not forget to connect GPIO 16 with the reset pin. Otherwise your ESP8266 will never wake up again. At the end we just have to print a small box and place it where the IR beam can reach the receiver of the lamps. Now the color of our lamp is synchronized with the sun, the whole year around, and without any maintenance. Moreover, our bodies produce enough melatonin that we fall asleep as soon as we go to bed. You see, I am a man without much fantasy. Or maybe I'm only politically correct? I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. If true, please consider supporting the channel to secure its future existence. You find the links in the description. Thank you. Bye.